Hello everyone, this is Part Partsy here, and today I have the newest alpha build number 2 for 0.13.0. So there's quite a number of bug fixes as well as a couple of tweaks we're going to go over. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go through the bug fixes. So the first one is the terrain doesn't flicker invisible anymore when too many chunks are active. Now I had this happen to me, I don't know if any of you experienced this, but I had a really big map with a mansion and it would flicker over and over and the game would actually crash. I couldn't even play it because of this bug. So I'm really glad they got that worked out, especially so early on in build number two. They fixed the crash when it's night in a village and you're holding a door not made of oak, which is a really weird bug. Don't even know how something like that comes about to be a bug, but it's okay because it's fixed. The held items movement in first person is now more fluid. So if you're sitting here like this, you can see the movement of the items and the blocks that you're holding. Uh, it's more fluid now, not quite as choppy and, and strange. So it looks much more clean, just kind of some polish fixes. They also fixed mobs disappearing after going through a portal. So uh, that was a bit of a, an interesting bug. So if you had a mob go through a portal, like the nether portal or something like that, they would disappear. So they would be gone forever. So I don't know exactly how that was... Uh, a thing but it's fixed now so don't worry they removed redundant tripwire recipes so that's good you know because pocket editions uh crafting recipes are different than pc because they're pre-made and you had and by redundant they're saying that there was multiple uh the same thing for crafting up the tripwire so those are gone so now it's clean uh redstone dots now only get powered from below so that's an interesting fix for the the redstone which is obviously good because redstone is kind of the key update here within 0.13.0 doors now pop correctly when destroying by removing the block below them so let's for example we'll take a door just to kind of show you what that means if you were to have a door uh just on the world you know and you're to break the block below you will see the door pop like that it comes off of there and that's what they're talking about the actual uh door popping off now comes uh correctly which has been various issues in the past with minecraft pocket editions doors uh, i think at one point when you break below it would duplicate at another point it would destroy the door but now it seems to be working quite well Ooh, look at this we've got a bit of a mine oh no it's not even <gasps> we should go explore yes let's explore anyway mobs aren't pulled back immediately into mine carts when being thrown out uh ocelot heads don't disappear anymore which is probably good because that's kind of bloody freaky Block of redstone is now properly translated because uh, it's obviously, you know, block of redstone I think is made of nine redstone dust if I remember correctly. I don't know why it would be anything else. They fixed an item duplication glitch in the anvil. So those of you duplicators out there cloning up your uh, diamonds, you know, whatever you're doing. It's going to be a little bit harder now because the anvil no longer will do that. Fixed various redstone weirdness that is too hard to explain honestly. That's <laughs> that's like part of the changelog. That's the, uh, the wording of the developers, okay? So I don't even know what to say to that except that I guess redstone should be working more properly now. Fixed corruption images in the language screen, which doesn't really concern me because I've always used the English. I'm sure most of you use English or Spanish, so probably not a big deal, but I guess that's good to make sure it's polished. Villagers now open doors of all kinds so they know you know before I think they could only open the classic oak doors but now they should be able to open up all sorts of doors because there's you know there's uh, I think there's like five different kinds now if all one two three four five six Ooh, we got six plus a seventh if you include the iron so we've got a number of doors now and the villagers should no longer be struggling with that so that's really good news for all of you uh, village fans now that's actually all the bug fixes so I read through the entire list sorry if that was tiring out your ears but now we're moving on to tweaks don't worry only two will take less than 20 seconds to go over. First tweak is obsidian now breaks in 6.5 seconds rather than three. So if you're breaking your obsidian, it's gonna take a bit more effort to actually get that block broken down because it's much more uh, powerful and resistant. Minecarts now stack on each other. So that's the other tweak, minecarts stacking as opposed to uh, the big jumbly mess that they used to make. We'd actually, people figured out how to make a car out of that at one point. I think you could just like mass produce uh, minecarts into one pile and create some sort of a car. I can't remember exactly what they would do. Let me just let me just grab one. It's like they would place it, but you have to have a you have to have one of those, you know, rails obviously. And it's like they would take them. Yeah, I don't think you can do it anymore. You would like mass produce these these carts and you could like you can make a car. It was really freaky. You could drive on the ground, like out here. It was really funny. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Be sure to subscribe so you can check in on all the upcoming updates for 0.13.0. I'll be uploading it all to my channel on time the day that the updates come out. I guess I will see you guys next time in more Minecraft Pocket Edition.